good YouTube? It's your boy Lasso Cray in the building coming at you with another Liddy video. Today we got a reaction video. Uh, and basically we got this guy testing to see if sharks could smell a drop of human blood. You feel me? Now this is something that I always wondered. You feel me? I always wondered this shit, bro. Always. Like, how does this work? Like, how far can a shark smell blood from? Like, how fast do they be moving? Like, how aggressive and violent do they get when they are up and close to the blood, of the person? You know what I'm saying? I want to see all of this in action, live in effect, GoPro on the face of the shark. I want to see everything, y'all. You feel me? Because I'm very, very, extremely curious, and that's why I love making these reaction videos, man. You feel me? Because we only react to the latest shit on YouTube. <laughs> This I took this clip to my wife water with sharks. I wasn't doing anything stupid on a recent trip. Only white people. Now, if you're wondering what my feet are doing in shark-infested yeah. waters with a bucket of blood 20 miles away from any land, well, that comes down to a conversation I had with my friends at the Discovery Channel six months ago. They told me Shark Week is coming up, and they wanted to know what I would do if they could put me in the middle of the ocean. Dude, that should be a conversation you have with yourself. Why do you have your feet in water with sharks? Like, what you mean that that has that's a conversation to do with your friends? That's a conversation to do with you. Why are you doing that? You the one putting your foot in the water. Your friends not making you put your feet in the water. That's a discussion you need to have with yourself, buddy. Are you okay? Like, are you good? You know what I'm saying? Like, what you talking about? On a boat surrounded by sharks. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to test if sharks can really smell a drop of blood in the water from a mile away. I'm interested to see. Before you see, see I already did this, um, they kind of did this. As you can see, to test this, they poked their fingers and then stuck them in a barrel with these tiny lemon sharks. That's and since why. they didn't really seem to turn around and look at their fingers, they said it was busted. That's now, I'm right. friends That's with right. both Carrie and Adam, but I think even they would have been, the in this right. case, their methodology was less than scientifically rigorous. So I came up with a more robust test procedure, built some NASA grade hardware for the experiment, hopped on a plane and then a speedboat, and soon enough, I was 20 miles offshore of the Bahamas. Ah, oh, that's crazy. I was there gonna ask like, what place is that? Is it the Bahamas? Cause I just came from the Bahamas and I heard that it's a hot spot for sharks. Like, if you ever want to find a shark, go to the Bahamas. There's so many shark attacks that took place in the Bahamas. Like, it, it's so much shark attacks and so shark infested that I didn't even go kayak. I didn't even, I went in the water, but I was on the shore, like, just dipping my body in type shit. Not, like, swimming, kayaking, nothing, canoeing, nothing like that. The girl I went with, she wanted to go canoeing and all that. I'm like, nah, like, I'm not trying to risk, you know, a shark flipping the boat over, turning me to lunch. And I don't make it back. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to live and keep my limbs so I can go on more vacations, right? You know what I'm saying? So, you feel me? So, word. But this is definitely the spot to go if you're looking for sharks, the Bahamas. Dude, there's sharks! The sharks! That's the first time I've ever seen a shark, like, in the wild. <laughs> Science. To kick things off, I sat down with my marine biologist, shark diving expert friend, Luke Tipple, and explained my plan to him. Eventually, I planned to test just how far they could smell a single drop of blood in the water. But first, I wanted proof that they actually preferred blood over any other scent. So for my first experiment, I planned to put four surfboards in the water, equidistant from the back of the boat. Each board would host two liters of a different liquid that we would pump into the ocean over the course of an hour. Then using a three meter radius around each board as a gauge, we would use drone footage and count how many sharks went over to check out each board. So this board would be fish oil, which I heard was a general attractant for lots of fish. Then we would have cow's blood here, then seawater here as a control to make sure the sharks weren't just interested in the surfboard. And then finally urine. I've heard from surfers that a lot of them won't clean their wetsuits because they feel like it's going to attract a shark. I don't know a surfer alive who doesn't pee in their wetsuit. <laughs> but yes, it's definitely something that I've heard a lot. They're liberating surfers everywhere. We should have it's cool to pee in your wetsuit. And so after a bit more discussion, Luke was on board for the first of our two experiments. Well, as a firm believer in the scientific method, we'll test it out. And then you do it. Well, depending on the results, I, I, I can't pee, the deal's off. <laughs> and so with that, we started putting the four boards together. We also started collecting scientific donations from the crew. Man. 
All right, so now it's time to fill these bags. Mm -hmm. What was the point of urine, though? Like, I don't understand that. Let's do like, pee. Okay. Let's do rock, paper, I don't understand that, bro. What's the point of showing him peeing? Like, I, I hate when they do shit like that, bro. Yeah! Oh, that smells so bad. It's urine. Whatever it is, they need to hydrate, dude. This is going to be a nightmare. Oh, oh, it's warm. Oh, dude, it's all in my Your pouring sucks. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's no, 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 We're good, we're good. All in the name of science. Is that shit even legal? Can you be putting urine in the water? Like, even if it's in a bag, who cares? It's nasty, And I can man. actually see two tigers down at the bottom, and that's actually a massive tiger that that is down there. Huge. Y'all ever wonder why right, so the ocean water right, be right, salty? Right. I be thinking it's, it's everybody oh in the gosh. world piss all together oh, wow. in the water. Like, There's everybody that piss, <laughs> you know how our waste go through the sewers and shit like that? It probably belongs to the ocean and shit, bro. Okay, that's probably why it's salty, man. Everybody in the world piss all combined. Fish oil. I could be wrong, but yeah. hey, that's, that's what I think. You know? Go out that shit salty like that. Come on. There's no way in hell shit should be that salty, man. So while Luke is bravely swimming the four surfboards out and anchoring Dude. them in place in preparation for the one hour countdown, now is a perfect time to explain the cool tech on each board I designed and built from scratch with my buddy Sean Hodgins. For this experiment to be robust, all four boards need to start pumping at the exact same time after Luke has them in place. That means we need to somehow start the pumps using a radio signal from the boat. So each surfboard has a waterproof receiver box like this that also hosts the battery, a custom printed circuit board, and two Arduino. Then I have the remote control, and as soon as I hit this button, they all start pumping at the same time. We know each pump is working because the corresponding yellow light is lit up. That's important because they're too far away from the boat to see if they're functioning properly. To pump the blood and pee, we're using a peristaltic pump. This is a perfect choice because it's a totally sterile way to get the blood from the bag to the ocean since the blood never touches any sort of valve or something. It just has these rollers that sort of pinch and push the blood through the tubing in a manner that just happens to be similar to a severed artery. And so with the boards in place, it was go time. Operation Shark Bait test thing commence. Three, two, one. Beep. All four are going. We have confirmation. The Bahama water is beautiful, though. I ain't gonna lie. That water is beautiful. We'll let them go for an hour, just dripping stuff out. You can see clearly. And, uh, yeah, you can see the shark coming. That shit clear as hell. Nigga, in the water with the sharks. Yo. No, bro, I cannot. Yo, this nigga in the water. No cage, nothing. And after 10 minutes, I was really Yo. surprised there wasn't a lot of action on any of the boards. So, so far it's pretty interesting. I mean, you've shown if you have a massive cut and you're bleeding out, and there's this many sharks within like 50 yards of you, that they're kind of like, meh. So like already that's an interesting finding, right? It's made, it's not like cow blood. Of blood and there'd just be a massive score, but that's not the case so far. And to be clear, we weren't dealing with small quantities here. The human body contains five liters of blood, and after you lose two liters, which is the exact amount we're putting in the water, then you die. Yeah. About 20 minutes in, things were still pretty quiet, especially at the fish oil, urine, and control boards. But then the blood board started attracting some smaller fish, and soon after, one or two sharks started taking notice. Not a lot of love for my pee. I don't know why I find that kind of offensive, but I'm just a little hurt. Eventually, with about 15 minutes left, things started getting pretty wild over by okay, the Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, it smells like blood mm. spread out and made almost like a blood runway. So you have this surreal line of sharks swimming up this enticing blood trail oh, one shit. after another. The whole oh, game. Maybe super disappointed to find a big piece of styrofoam. Oh, they pulled up though. Damn, they pulled up. We're almost done. Three, two, one. The motors have stopped. Our experiment is done. I'd just like to point out the bags have been sucked dry, so the engineering part of this experiment was flawlessly. Dude, there were sharks everywhere. Are you serious? Yeah, they yeah. pulled up. Those two super piss off doggers. <laughs> <laughs> and so now it's time to go in and review the footage and get a final tally for each board. And what we found was that four sharks went to check out the fish oil, then zero sharks went to check out both the control and the urine. 
And then the Blood Board had a direct visit from a whopping 41 sharks. Damn! And so we debunked some surfing true. myths about urine and proved that sharks certainly had a strong preference for blood over anything we tested. The real question was just how much blood is interesting to them. And there was one part of the experimental design that was really nagging at me. Because that was cow's blood, right? That was cow's blood. You don't need human blood. I want to try human blood. Yeah! <laughs> 10 living, breathing blood bags around here. <laughs> yeah, human blood. That's, really That's what I said. Everyone was as stoked as Luke and I about this idea. Yeah, yeah. and then just draw it. We'll just have fresh blood, just mainline it and put it in the water. Use your blood right yeah. now. How about your friends kick you in the water? Slice you, <laughs> cut you, and throw you in the water. You'll see right now. So we made some calls, and soon enough, we had an amazing certified Bahamian phlebotomist on board. I'm like, oh, I'm she got cool. human blood? Talk the ball. <laughs> oh, shit! And after some generosity from the camera crew and even oh, Captain yeah. Scotty, we had four bulging bags of human oh, blood. Oh, yeah. This is my actual blood. Yeah, these niggas got connections, though. They can pull all that off like do. that? Damn. I probably won't go pre dining with them. They were the shorting over fast with boards. the human blood. So they got connections. The control in the middle. The board over here would pump the human blood slowly at one drop a minute. And then on the other side, this board would pump the blood fast here we go, here we on go. average one it's drop shit, every man. four seconds. We were able to do that because another cool feature for the boxes we built was that by turning this knob you can control the flow rate so over time they can pump out different amounts and because sometimes we all have to step up and just do our part while luke once again risked his life by placing the three boards he's wild. prepared to push it he's it's not worth it two, one. no matter how much money he making like it's not worth it bro nothing is worth right, your, your our, life uh, like risking okay, your life go. Now like, the is ticking. you tweeting we have, bro like, 55 more minutes to go. That would not be me. See if the sharks know. But I appreciate y'all making the content. I just sit back safely We're watching it. Every four seconds may <laughs> sound like a lot, and it certainly is. But it's also important to note that's 40 times less than the first experiment where we saw so much activity. In this case, halfway into experiment number two, even though there were tons of sharks still in the area, the boards themselves were pretty quiet. We'll have to see when we look at the footage afterwards, but so far, it, it looks like the answer is no. Slay it, you're not rocking with human blood? Five, four, three, two, one. Experiment's over. What a waste of food, blood. We brought in the boards and once again reviewed That's the That's a waste of blood. The course of an hour, that because you donate to somebody you need, board, Zero checked out the slow blood pumping board, and exactly zero sharks checked out the fast one. So this was by no means a perfect experiment, but I think it's safe to qualitatively say that if no sharks came to check out 15 drops of human blood a minute in the middle of shark-infested waters, you're probably going to be okay with a small scrape. I mean, there certainly uh. won't be some kind of feeding friends with a single drop of blood from all sharks within a mile. Now that I had some first-hand data to put my mind at ease, I was willing to try diving with the sharks without a cage, but I had one final experiment. I had a theory that if we secured a 360 camera to the front of a hand spear and then shot it near some sharks, we could create the world's first really cool Matrix-like underwater bullet time effect. So I suited up and got it. hand spear because as you can see that footage turned out really cool home from this shoot is just more evidence of the amazing animal that sharks are 
but also the ability to point people in a specific direction to say, hey, your thoughts about them are a little overblown. This experience definitely changed my perception on sharks. No. I would say I respect them more no. after seeing but their raw power up They close. still the man eating monsters. comes from ignorance. On top of all that, I didn't die. Man, shout out to you, man. But listen, man, listen, man. That shit will not change my view on sharks. I'm still scared of them motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? I'll never go in that damn ocean again in my life, and I'll always fear them motherfuckers. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> my view do not change, man. Maybe uh, Brucey from Nemo fucked it up for me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think that's exactly what did it for real, literally. But yeah, man. <laughs> Let's see how I swim with some great whites. <laughs> Let's see that. <laughs> Let's see what you're really talking about. You know what I'm saying? Some bull sharks and great whites. You dig? But. Listen, that was a very cool video. Uh, it was very shocking to see that they did not swim towards human blood, but they went towards cow blood. I think they would have went towards humans' blood. It was just way less human blood. They had way more cow blood than they did human blood, so maybe they even they didn't even smell it like that. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, or maybe just our blood is nasty. You know what I'm saying? Cow is good. You know, cow is burgers. Cow is beef. You know what I'm saying? So you know they fuck with that beef more than us humans. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyway, I hope we, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.